In this tutorial, we'll talk about your output size in Astro UHD, how to correctly choose your output size to end up with the right end product, and what issues to be aware of when doing so. Astro UHD can output movies to any size you want. The size you choose depends on what's important to you and what you'll be doing with your finished video recording. In one scenario, you can produce a video that matches the size of your capture area. In this case, your capture area and your video output size are equal or have a one-to-one -one capture ratio. This method is recommended if you want to produce the best quality video visually. In the other scenario, iShow UHD also gives you the option of producing a video where your output video dimensions can be completely different from your capture area. You select a specific area with the intention of outputting it to a well-known defined size. For instance, the high definition video size 1280 by 720 used by popular video hosting sites like YouTube or Vimeo. In this case, iShow UHD will scale your selected capture area to fit your intended output size. As a result, letterboxing will usually occur to accommodate the scaling. iShow UHD can accommodate both scenarios, and I'll cover a few common examples to further explain these two ways of outputting your video. I'll demonstrate a full screen capture, capturing from the iPhone simulator, as well as from the web. Let's begin. In the first scenario, your capture area has the highest importance. I'll use GarageBand in this case. I want to capture the entire contents of my desktop. I want all my toolbars and menu items to be clear and visible with no scaling. Let me demonstrate how to do this. I go to the Capture Area tab, click Choose, go to Select Window Mode, and select my entire screen. In this case, my entire screen dimensions are 1680 by 1050. Once I've confirmed by pressing Return, I then go to the Output Video tab, click on the drop down menu cog, choose Change Size. Same as capture size. This will give me an output size exactly the same as the capture size, 1680 by 1050. Another great example is capturing an iPhone application in that you want the output video to match the size of the simulator. I'll click Choose. This time, I'll go into the Draw Area mode, and I'll go ahead and select the contents of the simulator. Go into the Output Video tab. Click on the drop down menu cog, choose change size, same as capture size. We chose this method of one to one to retain the best quality. Let's say if I wanted to take my GarageBand video for further editing in programs like Final Cut Pro, I would capture using this method. Now, what if we're constrained by output size, or we know that our output video is a well known size format? I'll demonstrate by capturing a web page in Safari. In I show you HD, I'll go to my Output Video tab and choose Web HD and then Vimeo HD. I'll then go to my Capture Area tabs, click Choose, and go into the Select Window mode to highlight my web page. Press Return to confirm and go back to see my preview window. My output size is now 1280 by 720, and I can already see that letterboxing will occur in my finished video. I'll go ahead and record to demonstrate. Notice the letterboxing on either side of the video. The content has been resized to fit the output. This is something that you have to be aware of if your output area is of a different size than your capture area. I show you HD is keeping the aspect ratio so the final result isn't stretched. Here's what it would look like if it didn't do this. Notice how the content is stretched across the width. I'll do another demonstration. This time, I'll do a quick Photoshop example where I capture my entire screen and then output my video again using the Vimeo HD preset. You can see how iShow UHD is scaling the full screen content down so that it fits inside the 1280 by 720 output size. As a rule of thumb, to keep your videos clear, make sure you capture at a one-to-one -one ratio. That is, make sure the output size is the same size as the capture size. However, if your publishing size is known in advance, iShow UHD can scale your capture area to fit that known size. Keep in mind that scaling may introduce quality degradation, depending on the amount required. Thanks for taking the time to listen. To view more videos, log into help.shinywhitebox.com.